I am here in Cambridge, Ohio at a supercharging station. Now this is the regular one over here, but this is a V2 station, which means these are slow chargers that all these cars are using. But because it is three days before Christmas, Tesla has brought this guy down, which is very exciting. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and take this and press the button, plug in. Now, what this is doing is those are all running off of the regular electrical grid. And this one is running off of, this is a mega pack. This is full of batteries. And then these are supercharging boxes, little substation things that actually power these. And basically it is a supercharging station on a truck. So let's see how we are doing. Charging at 237, 239. We came in, plugged in at, I think it was about 15% or so. And already we are basically pegged, having just plugged it in. And how this works, this thing is fantastic. They, uh, Tesla tweeted that they have four of these deployed right now and they might have more. And basically how it works is this is a mega pack, which is, if you know about the Tesla Powerwall, which is basically a bunch of batteries that you use to power your house. This is a larger version, which is used to power all number of things. You could use it to provide power to uh, an entire building in a power outage, or you can put it on a truck like Tesla has done here. And basically you have a supercharger to go. So this box has enough power to charge up. They say it's about 75 cars, but it goes at full speed, 250 kilowatts for anyone who plugs in. So that is where the batteries are in these cabinets, which are locked, so we can't go in and see the batteries. But then on each side of this rig, there are supercharging stations. Now these, the one, two, three over here on this side, can't actually access just because of the way the ground is set up here. These are providing shore power, I would assume, to keep the batteries charged when things are not, uh, when the, the big mega pack is not fully charged. But then these boxes power the superchargers over here. And these are V3 superchargers, which are faster than all those. So I should go over there and tell them, hey, you should come over here and use this instead. And so on this side, we actually have four, one, two, three, four, five over here. And then on the other side, there are three more that are still packed up. So this is powering my car off of those batteries. And then the whole rig looks like it's connected to shore power from the other side. And so basically that's probably providing, you know, some lower amount of power. And then when it's needed for a car that's plugged in, it uses the mega pack batteries to go. Now, what Tesla does is they will actually use these for things like hurricanes or when, if the power goes out, um, you know, if there's a natural disaster or something like that, or if they need power in remote places or things, everything's turned off, then they will bring this in on a truck. And these are pre-built and everything's all loaded on. You can see that the chargers are actually just permanently mounted right there and all the wiring is built in. And so basically this is literally a supercharging station on a truck and they can just bring this in, set it up and charge. And so they just brought this in here, wired it up semi permanently. And this is gonna stay here throughout the busy season because this is one of presumably Tesla's busier V2 charging stations. So slower charging and then, you know, you, you have this thing. And now the thing is, is that all these folks over here are using that and not using the new one. And so I would suggest that Tesla perhaps needs to put a note in the car saying, hey, this station has additional faster power than you might need over here but they don't. And so I'm the only one because I saw the tweet and I actually changed my route 
uh, driving from, uh, I started today in Lexington, Kentucky, back to Boston and uh, to specifically come and see this. And so I'm gonna go, you know, post the video for you guys, but this thing's pretty cool. So you do have this solar panel, which I assume can go up and then can provide power for if you do not have any shore connectivity. And that probably provides enough power for like the communications and connectivity and things. But because they do have a place to plug in, basically the standard rack over there that the regular supercharger gets power off of. So we can see, let's see we got power going to that rig, which has got some light switches on it. Yeah, I can't really tell what anything is, and I don't want to go climbing too much all over it. I bet that wire there is running to a Starlink box to handle uptime and allows the Starlink people to track it and everything. But this is a mega pack, all sorts of ventilation and things up there. These, like I said, these are uh, supercharging stations that don't quite reach. If they had longer cables, you could use the plugs over here, but they've, they're perfectly happy just to uh, leave those alone. So three of the eight are un inaccessible, but five of them are over there. And so hopefully if more Teslas show up, people would, would start to use them. So now this is where the boxes are and everything for the V2 superchargers. You can see the old ones in there, but we have extra cables coming this way, going into that whole thing. Whereas these ones over here, oh, are just going into there. So, so there you go. This is the supercharger on a truck, supercharger in a box, whatever you want to call it. I wonder if you can rent these from Tesla. If you were going to have like a track day or something, could you have them bring this out or can you buy one? You can buy a mega pack. I wonder if you can buy one of these. But let's see, this is, we've been recording for about seven minutes now. Let's see where we're at. 40% already. Started it, nope, don't want to. 40% already, still going, 135 kilowatts coming straight off the big battery truck. That's pretty cool right there. So. There we go. Thank you, Tesla. Charging me up. I got a few more charging stops left to go today, but I think this is the only one of these that I will see. And I'm gonna try and keep it to V3 chargers that are a bit faster, but this thing is pretty cool, as is my car. Also, it's pretty cold out, so I'm gonna go uh, put a sweatshirt on and check it out, but there you go. And we're out of sheets. So Cambridge, Ohio, Tesla mega pack charger on a truck very cool just no one knows about it so just put a little notification in the car they did tweet about it on uh, the Tesla charging uh, page but there we go all right I'm gonna keep driving and charge up but there we go thank you Tesla for throwing these out in these high usage slower stations just nobody seems to know to use them beautiful day though except that it's cold Bye, y'all.